Hey everyone, today I'm here to show you how to do this pretty bohemian updo. It's easy, you can do it in three steps, and I think it's great for dressing up just like an everyday outfit or even wearing out for a formal occasion. I actually kind of even like this for like a vintage -y themed wedding. I think it's got that cool vintage element to it. I really like this hairstyle and it is just so easy. So without any further ado, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Step one, we're going to make some texture. We want some big, loose bohemian curls to give that bohemian edge. So you have two options. If you have curly or wavy hair, use a hair dryer with a diffuser attachment like the Conair Ion Shine 1875. Or if you have straight hair, you can use hot rollers like the Conair Ion Shine heat setters. I love these. You can start by wrapping the hair that's closest to the scalp around each of the rollers and then clip it with the clips that come along with the set. Now I love these clips because you can heat them up so you get heat on both sides of your hair, which for long hair is amazing. Now I love these because getting texture can take a long time when you have um, really, really straight hair. With these, you can set them for five minutes and then wait for 15 minutes, read a book, drink some coffee, then you can take them out and look, beautiful curls and you didn't have to spend forever doing them. All right, step two, we're gonna pony up. It's time to make some ponytails. These are gonna be the base. We're gonna use Conair's poly bands, and we're gonna create the base for our buns. We're gonna make five ponytails. I want you to start on the very left and start at the bottom, right at the nape of your neck at the left. And then you're gonna make your next ponytail. You're gonna go up about two inches. We're just gonna make a new row. And you're gonna make that just slightly to the right of that first one. And then your third one is going to be right in the middle of the back of your neck, and you're going back down to the bottom row for that one. So we're kind of like zigzagging up and down. Number four is going to go back up again to that second row, and your very last one is back against the nape of your neck. And this is just going to create a nice little shape for our buns. Then you can loosen up the top just to create some volume and some texture, get that nice bohemian feel. And here's a little look at what it can look like without the buns. This is just going to make sure that you don't get too tight and too rigid. Step three is twist a bun. We're going to make some little buns using Conair's Secure Hold Bobby Pins. You're going to twist each of the ponytails in one direction and then wrap them in that same direction. And make sure you tuck the tail of that ponytail underneath the bun. Then you can pin once vertically and once horizontally. And then any more as you need. So essentially that's all you're going to do in this step for twist a bun is just twist each of these little ponytails into a bun. Make sure you don't twist it too tight. You still want it to be nice and loose and bohemian. And that's it. You're done.